Wait, something isn't right. The air is charged. It's totally different from before. Look, there, in the crystal. Oh. Rusalka, that's Rusalka, purveyor of doom. It's the same as the last time. We can't awaken the crystal until we're rid of the beast, Agnes. Then I have no choice. I must do this! Say goodbye!
Good. We're ready to begin the rite. All set, Anya's? <laughs> I'll go over the process for the ritual once more, just to be sure. To awaken it, you must set your own life force to resonate with the crystal's natural rhythm. Focus your prayers on the crystal and don't stop, Anyas. If it works as it should, we'll soon see dramatic results. I know I said it before, but be sure you don't stop before it's done. Keep praying until I give the signal to stop, no matter what. The flow of the crystal's energy could reverse and explode out of control. Is all of that clear, Agnes? I understand. You needn't repeat yourself. Agnes. <laughs> if it does go berserk, do we get a second chance at the ritual? No second chances, which is why it's so important you all stay out. All right, Agnes. Let's begin. Right. Exhausted. I'm fine. No cause for worry. That makes two crystals. We're halfway there. <sighs> Agnes, you need to rest. You've been pushing yourself this whole time. I told you. I, I'm fine. Please, spare me your concern. I have to do this. I have to do it alone. Lady Matriarch, the sea, its waters are clearing. Oh, it's the guidance of the Vestal. Praise be to her.
Vestal, the oceans herald your return to us. I take it for a sign the water crystal, too, is returned to its pure state. What joy! And the Vestal of Water, is she not with you as well? Uh, Olivia Oblige, Vestal of Water, has given her life in the service of the crystals. No, but that can't. I had thought, certainly, certainly the clearing waters were her doing. Lost to us, gone from this world. What is Florum to do now? It is by your efforts Florum is spared from the Blood Rose Legion's venom. I give you the thanks of all Florum's people in the Vestal of Water's stead. The nation will not return to its chaste and proper ways overnight, I'm certain. But once a new Vestal is chosen, the people's hearts will unite behind her. <sighs> Might I ask where your travels take you next, Lady Vestal? I was told the Vestal of Fire is deceased. I must hurry to the Fire Crystal's side. I see. Then beyond the sea, to Eisenberg and the Temple of Fire. If you follow the waters west of here, ever west, you will find it. First, Cross the Miasma Woods, then to the shore of the Inner Sea. I shall make a mark of it upon your map. The seas are only newly tamed, and the journey is long. I pray you will be safe.
Shall I cast off, then? Please. Uh. Dark mood for a nice day's sailing. On, yes. Forgive me. For what? What happened to Olivia? I am partly to blame. You may have fought for the duchy, but you've nothing to do with the one who killed Olivia. But I do. 
That monster? The one they call the witch, Victoria? I knew of her. <clears throat> Just who are you, Adia? Before, when that man attacked, Alternus, you knew him. Better than a simple soldier of the Sky Knight saw it. I hadn't intended to hide who I am, but I should have told you sooner. My father is Grand Marshal of the Eternian Forces, leader of the Council of Six. What? If the Council is in charge, and he leads the Council... <gasps> Your father's the head of the whole duchy! Then the order to assassinate the Vestal of Water came from your father? I don't know. I don't know. I can't blame you if you blame me for it, though. You don't... You... You intend to stand there and feign heartache and innocence both? Perhaps it was you who communicated Olivia's hiding place to the Duchy? That's not... I wouldn't! Perhaps you were a spy this whole time, deceiving us even now! Anya, stop! We fought this far together. That means something. Don't doubt it. <gasps> Excuse me. I need rest. I ask that you leave me alone a while. <laughs> We're crossing into open water. Ah, over here, everyone. Feast your eyes upon this. What's the matter? Oh. Oh, my. What on earth is that? A ship, perhaps? 
But it's too big. And it's not moving. I'll wager the women there frolic around in bathing suits all day long. In your dreams, Ringabel. What are we waiting for? Let's lodge there tonight. Unacceptable. We've no time for distractions. We must awaken the fire crystal. I am the one at the helm here, no? I'll make the call. Thank you very much.